Hey, my name is Sidney Podvan, co-founder of Vertex Marketing Agency, a Facebook ad agency. In this video, I'll be sharing what is Google Tag Manager, and I'll show you how you can install it on your website. But before we jump into that, I just want to say that if you'd like to connect, maybe you have a topic in mind uh, for a YouTube video, or maybe you want to, somebody to run your Facebook ads, don't be shy, contact me and let's connect. I'll actually leave my LinkedIn profile link in the description of this video. So now, what is Google Tag Manager? Well, Google Tag Manager is a tag management system that allows you to quickly and easily add code to your website. So as a marketer, I personally use it to add all my tracking codes like the Facebook pixel inside what they call tags. What's great about Google Tag Manager is that instead of having the, to message your developer to ask him or her to add specific tracking code to the website, you can easily just put the code in a tag. So it keeps your website very clean. So it kind of looks like this. You install Google Tag Manager on your website once and put all your tracking code inside tags. And when the user lands on your website, Google Tag Manager loads once and then the Google server sends the data to the other third parties. Now, installing Google Tag Manager on your website will be a different process based on the platform you're using. So I'll be covering the two most popular, WordPress and Shopify, but in case you use something else or your website is on its own platform, if you look in the description of this video, I've included an email template with instructions that you can send to your developer. Anyways, let's get right into it. Okay, so how do you install Google Tag Manager on your website? So right now I am in Google Tag Manager and uh, if you don't have an account, it's pretty easy. All you have to go is to go to tagmanager.google.com and uh, you're gonna have to click on create an account. It's gonna ask you for your business name or your account name. And then after that, it's gonna ask you for your website URL and then it's gonna ask you what kind of account you'd like to create. So then that's when you'd say uh, web, right? Because we're gonna install that on the website. So I'm gonna start with showing you how to install this if you have a WordPress website. And before I go into the WordPress website to show you how to install it, I just wanna say that it's gonna make your life easier just working with Google Tag Manager if you have this Chrome extension right here. So it is called the Tag Assistant. So if you go to the Google Chrome extension store and you type Google Tag Manager Assistant, then you'll be able to find uh, this Chrome extension. But I'll also leave the link to the Chrome extension in the description of this video so it's easier for you. Great, so WordPress. Now, I just wanna say that if you are using Divi as your theme, there's actually a better way of installing Google Tag Manager and I'll show you how to do that um, in just a few minutes. But now I'm gonna show you how to install Google Tag Manager on your WordPress website if you are using any other theme than Divi. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on plugins. Add a new plugin. Google Tag Manager. This one right here. Activate. Perfect. Now we're going to go to, uh, sorry, now we're going to go to settings. And then we're going to have to put the Google Tag Manager ID. So where do you get your ID? You have to go back to Google Tag Manager. And if you click on here, well, first of all, that's your ID. But if you click on here, you can also see it here and you can copy it. Control C, going to go here, Control V. Perfect. Now there's a few different uh, options and way of setting this up. Um, I'm going to use the recommended one, which is actually uh, this one here. So custom needs to in your template. So if we read the instructions here, um, they're saying that I'm going to have to go in the head section of the page and then right like, just after the opening body tag, I need to put in this code here. So I'm going to copy the code, control C. So I need to go to a appearance theme editor. I'm looking now I'm looking for head control F if I type this I see it right here right so control F and if you can't find it head sorry header perfect this is the one we're looking for so I saw it right here so body but let's say you know you're having some issues finding it 
go here, body, right here. So I'm gonna click here, I'm gonna click enter just to go under and I'm gonna click control V to copy your code. Now I'm gonna click on update file. Perfect, it's been updated. Now what you need to do is go to your page here, click on visit page. And then we're gonna click on the Chrome extension. Click enable, let's reload this. Then it says here Google Tag Manager, right? It's green, so it has been installed. So perfect, we've just installed Google Tag Manager on our WordPress website. Now the only thing I'll mention is that if you're not using a child theme and you update your theme, there's a chance that you might lose any sort of modifications that you've made through for your theme. So it's really important that you always have a child theme on your website, right? If you're not too sure what that is, make sure you talk to your developer and they'll know what it is and it's basically just something that you need to upload as your theme. It's like, it's like the theme of your website, but it's like your own version of the theme that doesn't change, right? It only changed when you make those modifications and then you upload that version as your theme so that you never lose any sort of modifications that you make when you update your themes. So hopefully this makes sense, but this is how you install Google Tag Manager. Now, let me show you how to install Google Tag Manager if you're using Divi as your theme. So now this one is really easy. So you would click on Divi. And then where it says integration, I'll delete that for you. Go back to Google Tag Manager. You grab this code here by clicking this, then it just copies it to your uh, your desktop theme options so if you see here they say add this code in the head section so this is actually the head section control V and then paste this you know uh, in the opening body tag copy this go here control V so honestly I much prefer this way of setting it up um, but again that's only for people using Divi and perfect, now let's move on to Shopify. So how you install it for uh, someone using Shopify. So now I am in my Shopify store. So the way you can add Google Tag Manager if you're using Shopify is by going here and click on online store. Now we're gonna go to themes, action, and we're gonna click on edit code. Perfect, and what we're looking for is theme.liquid right here. Now. Google Tag Manager, especially for Shopify, they, they tell you that you need to paste this code as high as you can in the head section, and then you need to paste this code immediately after the opening body tag. But it actually doesn't really work with regular Shopify account. It only works with Shopify Plus. So there is a workaround, and that's what I'm gonna show you. Um, so the workaround is you need to copy this, this, uh, this code right here. So we're gonna click on copy. And then you need to click Control F to find your body tag, which is right here. And as you can see here, I'd already have it installed in the Shopify store, um, but you'd find this. And as soon as you see this line here, you click enter, and then you can click Control V to paste in your code. So you can see here, I have it twice now. So I'm gonna delete that code. But here you go. That's how you would add the body um, so, so this one here, so the body, right right under the body tag. Now you would go ahead and click save. I'm not gonna save it because I already have it. Now after that, what you need to do is go ahead and click on preferences because we actually need to install this tag now on the website, the one above. So you click on preferences and then where it says additional Google Analytics JavaScript, that's where you go ahead and put in your tag. So again, obviously I already have it installed here. so. Let me delete that and then I'd copy this one and I click Control V and then you'd save it.
So guys, this is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the content and if you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel because we release videos just like this one every week. Bye for now.